Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. This is a quick reply to the previous video about the Drill Doctor. Let me just say right off the bat, I had no idea that Drill Doctor in some subsets of people watching this is a sacred cow. Some guys got right hot. So hot I had to tell them to go find a stranger in the Alps. But in hindsight, I should have known better because if you take the time to learn the skill that is required to use a drill doctor, and it is a skill, it's not as easy as they say. And it doesn't just take 10 minutes because I took 10 minutes, drunk or not. I mean, some of the comments, you would have thought that I said my blue-eyed bearded patriarch in the sky is better than your brown-eyed bearded patriarch in the sky. Now there's lots of excellent 10, 20 minute videos on how to dress twist drills. Let me put your mind at ease, this is not that. And here's the thing, once you get into a little bit of metalworking, even woodworking, everybody's got an old box of Chinese crappy drill bits that they just can't throw away. It's like kittens, they just give them away, they're useless. I mean, it's just taking up box space. Now mind you, I have called mine, so I got the left hand, it's, I got the big one. Little ones though, under a quarter inch, the ones that they sell for drilling Stilton. Ain't nobody got time for that. Stick them in the art bin. Now I ain't showing you the way you should do it. The way your grade 10 shop teacher lectures you how to do it in between six months of filing square blocks with a dull file. Well, he, she preps the next classroom lecture by looking up YouTube videos. This is one way to do it to get you out of a pickle. Hey, like, when all you have is a hammer, things start looking like nails, right? Well, this is something that's easy to carry in your head. You don't gotta carry a drill doctor to the industrial site you know, when you're working on a shutdown for uh Anyway, sorry, that was a little barb intended for some know-it-all do-nothing that told me that I'm full of shit because what would you do if you needed to sharpen a drill bit and you're, you're well, fuck me, partner, you're not going to bring a little plastic piece of shit to an industrial site when they're charging out cut rate lawyer rate for you. You're not going to take 10 minutes to sharpen a drill bit. You're going to go and get a new drill bit. And if you get yourself in a dilly of a pickle, you always got one of these around. Right off the bat, the drill bit's never going to be dull. It's going to be chowdered right to fuck. So you're going to have a fair bit of grinding to do to get rid of those chowder marks there. All that. The three things you got to consider. First, this angle right here. Next, the length of this flute. It's got to be equal to the length of this flute. And third is the relief angle. So this cutting edge needs to actually cut. So this needs to taper down. And again, we're talking about drilling holes in the field. Some third world shithole, you gotta mount an electronic doodad on there because the factory had to ship it so they could invoice in time for the quarter. This is not the perfectly climate controlled aerospace Boeing shop. This is the third world shithole kneeling on minor press up to your ball sack with carnivorous beetles flying in your ears. Pincers this big. So what you do is you either get your bench vice or your 80 pound Filipino buddy to hold this for you. Tighten until you hear the crack, back a quarter turn. And of course, because this is North America and yeah, I don't have a trigger lock. The G's Lazosha trying to protect us from ourselves. That ain't nothing a liberal application HPHC can solve. Now using this method, I do not split the point. You can see here, there's no chisel. That's a split point. This has got a chisel, so it's actually got to displace that material out to the periphery so the flutes can cut it here, the cutting edges can take it off. Good enough for Grandpa McNamara, good enough for me. Okay, bearing in mind the three things, we come in at the, at the proper angle there so that we hit that dead flush. And then this way, we just gotta come up a tiny bit, like very, very little. And we, uh, as you can see there, I don't take too much off at a time. And I switch over. When you're starting to finish your cut, you just bring it up like this. And that takes care of that relief. So we're getting close there. There's just a, a tiny bit of chowder. That would drill our hole, but We'll go full hog and, and make it pretty. 
There we go, Jean Guy's your mother's brother. Proof in the pudding, however, is in the eating. Oh, you piece of shit, girl. No fuck it, torque you. But that's just aluminium fucking bullshit. I hear ya. I hear ya. Come on, piece of shit. Now, as you saw, we gave that drill a bit of a hot supper. Focus, you fuck. Anyway, the cutting edges are still intact. There's no chowder out of them. Plenty of life left in these cutting edges to drill more holes. Thanks for watching. Keep your stick on the ice.